So it is starting to get cold and I know a lot of you have already seen snow this year. I mean, I don't see snow where I'm at, but it's actually getting colder here as well. And so I felt like what better time than now to share with you my cozy fragrances. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you all of my cozy fragrances. So these are the fragrances that I like to wear during times when I feel like cuddling or when I feel like just being wrapped up in a big blanket sitting at home not saying that these fragrances aren't good enough to like wear out because I definitely wear them out as well but all of these fragrances here I wear for me because they make me feel warm and cozy and I just love them I have 11 fragrances to share with you and I really want to keep this video under 30 minutes we shall see but I'm going to be kind of quick going through these fragrances a lot of them you have heard me mention before but if I leave something out and you have any questions definitely leave it in the description box and we can talk more about it and yeah let's get into the fragrances so first up we're going to start with one of my absolute favorite fragrances I talk about it so much but I still wanted to include it in this video because I had to. Like this is my hug in a bottle. This is none other than Dior Feve Delicious. Like I said, I am not gonna spend a lot of time on this because I talk about it a lot, but to me, this is the quintessential tonka bean scent. So this is so cozy, so warm and cozy. It is sweet. It smells like there is almond and cherry in this. I'm not sure if cherry is a note, but I believe almond is. This is a little bit powdery, but it just gives this very enveloping feel. This is the one that I typically reach for if I'm having a bad day, if I just want to wear it to bedtime. I absolutely love it. I know this is a popular one. So again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it um, because not only is it popular on my channel, it's popular everywhere, but for good reason. I love Feb Delicious and it had to be included in this list. The next fragrance that I have is from Serge Luton's and this is Un Bois Vanille. So this is a vanilla fragrance, but it is also woody. And I believe there may even be coconut in this fragrance, but this does not smell like a tropical vanilla. This is definitely one that is more suited for colder weather. It definitely gives me that warm, cozy, cuddly feeling. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It does have a bit of greenness to it, so I know it's not for everybody, but to me, it's not a lot of green in this fragrance. So it's kind of a woody, slightly green vanilla fragrance. And the coconut note in this, I feel like it just helps it to differentiate that vanilla. Um, it's so gorgeous. It's so well done. I know some people don't like this, but I absolutely love this one. And it just makes me feel so gooey inside. <laughs> so that is Un Bois Vanille. The next fragrance that I have is from Maison Margiela, the replica line. This is by The Fireplace. So this fragrance is very popular, but it is really, really good, especially if you're wearing it just to like cozy up around the house. So to me, this is a very literal campfire type scent. And again, that's not going to be for everybody, but it's really nice. So if you've ever smelled the Marshmallow Fireside candle from Bath and Body Works, happens to be one of my favorite candles from them. This smells like the fragrance version of that. So it is nutty it's smoky and woody and sweet and it's absolutely gorgeous it can definitely be overpowering so i can only wear this during cold weather unless i'm at my house and it's cold inside and i'm you know cuddled under a blanket or whatever but like as far as wearing it outside i would not wear this in any type of heat because it can become cloying because it is sweet and heavy long lasting and yeah it's absolutely gorgeous not for everybody, but I think it's great for cuddling, snuggling, chilling, whatever, cold winter days. So this is by the fireplace. Next up, I have another fragrance from the Replica line, and this is Whispers in the Library. Now, you can see I've used up a good amount of this fragrance, and I have to tell you, most of this use has been to bed. <laughs> I really like wearing this fragrance to bed, and that just speaks to how cozy and comforting it is. This one is meant to smell like paper and waxed wood, so like a library. 
And that's what it smells like. I feel like this is a hard to explain scent. And I know that paper and wax wood sounds like weird. Why would somebody want to smell like that? But this is the perfume version of that. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely woody. It's a little bit spicy. It's not a sweet fragrance, but there are some sweet elements to it. And yeah, I, I don't really, I feel like I really can't explain this one. This is one you definitely have to smell. Now, I don't think they sell Whispers in the Library everywhere, but I know they sell it at Nordstrom. So this is one you can go in store and smell and try it on your skin. It's just something so cozy and comforting about this fragrance. And yeah, I mainly wear this to bed. I hardly ever wear this out. I mean, I would, <laughs> but for me, it just, it just tells me it's bedtime. So <laughs> that is Whispers in the Library. So the next fragrance I have is from Juliet Has a Gun. This is Sunny Side Up. So I love this fragrance. Now this is one of the warm and cozy scents that I can wear you around. It's not so heavy that I have to reserve it for cold days, but I do really enjoy it in the cold weather. So this is a very creamy sandalwood scent that is mixed with, I don't know, something that smells like coconut, even though I don't think coconut is a note in here. That's what it kind of smells like. It, it definitely has that Juliet Has a Gun smell to it. So if you don't like Juliet Has a Gun fragrances, you probably won't like this one either. It has that bit of a chemical nature to it, but it doesn't take over this scent in my opinion. There is a slight bit of woodiness to this fragrance, but again, it's mainly just a creamy sandalwood scent. It's quite comforting. I actually like to layer this one with a lot of other fragrances as well, but I do wear it alone, especially if I'm just hanging out around the house or going to bed. It's actually quite beautiful in my opinion. So that is Sunny Side Up. The next fragrance I have is from Byredo, and this is Val de Freak. Now, I always put this in the same category as Sunny Side Up because I feel like this is the vetiver version of Sunny Side Up. This one, is a very creamy vetiver scent and if you don't like vetiver still don't be scared of this one because this one is not a very grassy earthy vetiver in this fragrance in my opinion this one is super super smooth and it also has something like citrusy in this fragrance as well that kind of keeps it light but at the same time it still feels very cozy so this is definitely one i can wear year round but no matter what time of year that i wear it it just feels like it's enveloping me it makes me feel comforted and although it's not a heavy scent you could definitely wear this in the winter and feel like it's appropriate so yeah that is balda freak by barreto the next fragrance that i have is from narciso rodriguez and this is poudre so this fragrance is all about the musk and this is a powdery light musk. Um, so to me, this musk does not smell animalic at all. It smells very like cozy and comforting. And this is one that others seem to really love. I mean, I love it too. And I wear it because it makes me feel like cozy and comforted. But every time I wear this, I get a compliment without fail, unless I'm going to bed. And usually if I'm going to bed wearing this, my husband mentions it. I love this. It's very enveloping and just, smells so good but it doesn't smell like you're ever doing too much this is one of those fragrances that you smell good wearing but you never smell like you're trying too hard like it's almost like a clean musk but it also has a powdery nature to it very feminine in my opinion so that is poudre so switching from that very feminine fragrance to one that may be considered masculine <laughs> this is lord vert by killian so this is one of the newer fragrances released from the house and this is gorgeous. Now, this one is not gonna be for everybody because it does feature absinthe, which kind of smells like licorice. So if you're not a licorice fan, then you will not like this because that is the most prominent note that I get from this. But this is oh so cozy. Now, this is one that when I smelled it, I thought it was too masculine. I'm not even gonna lie. I sprayed it on a piece of paper thought it was going to be too masculine for me but once I wore it it just the way it worked with my skin it just did what it was supposed to do it gave what it was supposed to gave and I love it this is a very enveloping scent it is spicy it's slightly sweet but not really 
and the licorice is just so well done everything is so well blended in this fragrance nothing is sharp no harsh edges when i wear this i just feel like it's all over me and you don't need a lot of this so i don't over spray it but when i wear it it just feels like it's enveloping me it makes me feel like i'm being cocooned by fragrance and i absolutely love that now this is a unisex fragrance but i will say definitely try this one on your skin it reminds me a lot of grand soir from maison francis kurjan in that it gives you that enveloping feel and it's also one that when you spell it on paper you really don't get the true picture of how the fragrance is so definitely try this one on your skin people are sleeping on it but it is so beautiful so that is lure vert from killian the next fragrance i have is my milky fragrance and this is the digan voltaire this is her so this fragrance is a very milky, creamy sandalwood scent. And I wanted to emphasize milky because it definitely smells like it's lactonic, but it doesn't go so far lactonic that I think it's going to make me nauseous. I don't know if you guys have experienced that, that some milky smelling fragrances can be, uh, I don't know, sickening when you smell them. I don't get that from this. <laughs> this is like just enough milkiness that feels very like comforting feels very nostalgic again the sandalwood in this is very creamy i believe there's whipped cream in this fragrance so this is a little sweet too and it's just it's absolutely gorgeous i wear this to bed a lot and i don't know if y'all can see my dent like i haven't had this bottle that long it's a 100 ml bottle but maybe you can see it better from there can y'all see that dent can y'all see that dent that's a lot for me i wear this to bed quite often but i actually wore it yesterday like during the day and absolutely loved it so I'm so happy with this purchase. I've only had it a couple months and there's just something very cozy about it for me. So that is This Is Her. And although it's called This Is Her, I think a man could wear this as well. Even though I am saying it leans slightly more feminine because it is sweet, but I definitely think a man could wear this pretty easily as well. The next fragrance that I have is from Montel and this is Sweet Oriental Dream. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is my sexy baby powder fragrance. Every time I mention it, I have to say that because that's what I think of when I smell it. But this is a powdery, a very powdery almond and honey scent. So it's sweet, it's powdery, and it's just so cozy. It reminds me of like hugging and cuddling up with my kids when they were babies before they could talk back and really get on my nerves, you know? like that's what it gives me and i'm wishing for those times again a lot so <laughs> just kidding but not really um but anyway yeah this is a gorgeous powdery scent now you have to like powder because this is extreme powdery but it's it's so good it's so good i don't typically wear this one to bed because it is quite strong quite potent so even though it's a baby powdery scent i wear this out during the day and i always get a compliment when i wear it Nobody ever smells, says that I smell like baby powder, even though I get a lot of baby powder when I sniff it. It's just very, it's just, it's good, y'all. It is good, and I love it. So if you're an almond lover and you also like powdery scents, I really feel like this is a must try because it's not very popular. Um, but I don't know. If you, like I said, if you like powdery scents and you like almond, try it. It's not expensive. You can usually find it on Discounters website. So yeah, definitely check it out. All right, and then the very last fragrance that I have is from BDK, and this is Velvet Tonka. Now, I know I have done multiple videos on this fragrance, and all of my thoughts on it have not been good, but we cannot dispute the smell of it. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is another almond scent that is a little bit powdery, but not too much. Um, if you don't like powdery scents, you may still like this. The almond is very sweet, very gourmand. Uh, it does smell like there is some cherry in here, even though I don't believe cherry is a note. I just think the way the almond is in this, it kind of leans cherry. And then you have that beautiful Tonka that just rounds this fragrance out. This is a fragrance that when you wear it, it just feels like you are being hugged and I love it. 
I love, love, love this. This one is a lighter scent. So this is one that I could wear year round, even though I do think it's better suited for cool to cold weather. Um, but because it's so light and the way that it wears on the skin, I definitely think I can wear this one year round. So a lot of times if I wanna feel cozy, but I don't want to like knock myself out, this is what I'll wear because I know it's never gonna be too much, but it still gives me that cozy feeling. And you can see I've used up quite a bit of it. So yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous scent. It does have some downfalls, so I will link my video talking about this fragrance in more detail, but it is a gorgeous fragrance nonetheless, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. So that is Velvet Tonka. So those were my warm and cozy fragrances that I wanted to share with you all. Is there a fragrance that you go to when you want that fragrance hug, when you wanna feel like you're cuddling or snuggling? Let us know that in the comments below. If you've tried any of these fragrances, also let us know what you think of them down below as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you're subscribed with your notification bells on. I do upload three times a week and you don't want to miss a video from me. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. I always check in over there, especially in my Instagram stories because it's just so easy. And I always like to talk with you all via DMs over there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.